It's been spring break, break, break. It's been spring break for two weeks, and I am just about to get on my first Zoom call. You guys said you wanted exciting stuff. Should this entire video be a Zoom call for school? I went on break with some pretty good plans. I had two books that I wanted to read, one for school, one for myself. Didn't read either one. I. I was gonna finish a project for my dissertation work. Didn't do that. I've got a big paper that's due at the end of the semester, was gonna start, didn't start it. Instead, I just decided to actually have a little bit of a vacation. So I did some hiking with my family. Good job, camera. We did it! Yay! <laughs> I still think it's faster to take this trail back no. into that parking lot and then... We are not lost, but we don't know how to get back. We don't know if we're supposed to go this way or if that's just a cliff. That's a cliff. That's not the right way. No, no, no. I found a non-cliff. I don't think I found a trail though. We're gonna try it. Look, you're walking through the, the waves of the... The amber waves of grain? Is this really amber? No, it's also not grain. <laughs> I'm afraid of snakes that aren't really snakes. It's just the grass and the wind. That's the grass and the wind. <laughs> we made it! We did some hiking with the family. We played some games, we went camping, during which time I actually decided not to get my camera out for most of the camping trip and just be fully present on vacation. And then we had what I really honestly think was one of the best Easter Sundays that we've had in our church in years. It was awesome. Our whole theme for Easter this year was called Easter with our peeps because last year we did Easter in isolation, online only, and none of us were together. This year we did our whole service out in the church parking lot so that as many people from our church that wanted to come would be able to join us. And I preached about water baptism and we actually had three people get baptized during the sermon as part of our sermon illustration. That was really cool, unique, never done that before, and it went off really, really well. But then what was amazing was that at the end of the sermon, one more person decided, you know what, today is the day I'm gonna get baptized and just jumped in in her jeans and spontaneously got water baptized. It was just a really great service on top of the fact that there were people that came on campus that I haven't seen in months. And so that felt like a great gift. So the last couple of weeks have really been about spending time with family. But today I hit the ground running again. I jumped on a Zoom call for school. I had another conference call for a work thing. I'm really trying to lean into my dissertation work. And what's crazy for me is thinking that I'm only a few weeks away from being done with the second year of my doctoral program, which means no more classes. I just have one year to work on my dissertation project. And while that's really, really exciting, feeling kind of sad about that, thinking that in just a few weeks, we're going to be done with the academic side of this program, and I'm not going to have a weekly Zoom call with these people that I have grown to absolutely love. 
I think one of the things that is a factor here is that this last year has just made me value my relationships more than I ever have in my life. And so I'm thinking about how there's a scheduled end to a regular call with friends that I have that's coming to an end. I'm going to have to find other ways to connect with these people. And I'm definitely going to do that. But it makes me sad to think that this rhythm of relationship that's been sustaining my heart in a lot of ways in the last year just gonna be done. So I was editing that video and I realized I just didn't finish my thought at all. I think what I was wrestling with is that it feels like there are two different extreme emotions happening in two really significant areas of my life. In the church world, it just feels like there's some great breakthrough and forward movement happening. And in school, it's the grieving in the morning, knowing that that season is coming to an end. The lesson for me is twofold. Number one, I'm trying to learn to be present wherever I'm at. So. With school, I want to really finish well. And in the church, I want to make sure that I'm present there as well. Not thinking too far ahead because I'm excited about the new stuff that's happening. Also, not getting stuck in the past of a really hard year and missing the exciting stuff that's happening. So in both parts of my life, I want to be present. The other lesson is that it's okay that I have these extreme feelings about different scenarios in my life. In fact, it's good if I know how to name these extreme feelings and hold them even in tension or find peace in feeling great about some things and not so great about some other things. I think maybe I'll do a video at some point about a practice called Daily Examine where you actually review the highs and the lows of your day and find God in the middle of all of the good stuff and all of the bad stuff. But as I've been doing this practice of examining my heart and finding God in the middle of it, I'm learning how great it is that I can find God in the good stuff, but I can also find him in the bad stuff and sometimes all of that coexists in the same moment. So I would love to hear from you actually. Put in the comments, what are some of the ways that you stay present in a moment so that you don't miss the miracles or you don't miss making a memory of a specific moment you find yourself in? Thanks for taking some time with me today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, put something in the comments, share it with a friend, and I'll talk to you soon.